and I'm excited uh, to have everybody here. We have a few little housekeeping things that we like to do to get things kicked off. Unfortunately, uh, these are the legalese things. Um, we will be recording uh, the session um, and we're live streaming right now on YouTube or actually we're getting ready to do that. Yin Yen, if you could press the big red button on your screen. And uh, we are obliged to tell you that if you do not want to have your image captured, uh, don't turn your video on. And if you do not want your voice captured, do not speak, but we hope that you will because that's gonna make this all that much more awesome. Uh, we'll also have uh, the session available afterwards uh, on YouTube within a few hours, it will be uploaded. So if you miss anything or if you have to drop off early or if you wanna share with a friend, uh, you can do that at our YouTube channel, which we will share here in just a minute. Um, Want to welcome you all to our space of uh, failing forward and, and clumsy innovators, hungry learners, cheeky co-creators, ignorant experimentalists, change makers, and broad-minded design thinkers. Um, that's what we're here for. Many familiar faces, but some new faces. We're happy to have you guys here. This is an hour of learning and fun and failing forward together. Um, we do ask that you be mindful and kind and compassionate and empathetic with the people that you are going to be interacting with because, uh, because that's just the nice thing to do and uh, that's how we'll learn more together. So be, be, uh, be, be cool, be cool, be cool. Um, and with that, I think we're gonna jump right into uh, today's session. You are going to be suffering through me and enjoying the uh, time with my lovely colleagues Yun Yen Tsai and Adam St. John Lawrence. There they are. We are going to kind of wow you guys and hopefully learn by doing here in this fun space that we've created and you've created together with us uh, today and we have done over the past. And with that, here is what you guys can expect for today's journey. We are going to be working in Miro otherwise known as Miro, for those who can't pronounce Miro. Um, and what we're going to be doing today uh, in this hour that we are going to be together, if my mouse would cooperate, I will move this a little bit. We're going to have, we are in the welcome and intro right now. We're going to go into uh, breakout rooms here in Zoom. So if you get motion sickness, you may want to have one of those little bags next to you because we are going to hit the hyperspace button and go into three times four breakout rooms. And then we're going to have you, one of you from each of three teams present to the rest of us some cool stuff about prototyping, basically prototypes. You're going to present prototypes, which yeah, we'll talk about um, in, the, in the breakout rooms, what a prototype is and why you do prototyping and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then we'll have some discussion at the end. And then of course, for those of you who've been, before, been here before, uh, we have the most fun part of Wednesday Web Jam, which is the backstage. So we have another half an hour of unstructured, unfilm, unrecorded, uh, great discussion uh, about the subject that will happen in the half hour after the hour of the Wednesday Web Jam. Um, one thing to note as we go sort of just logistically, we're gonna put you in breakout rooms and those of you who are familiar with Zoom know that this is just kind of a, this is Photoshop. Um, but at the bottom of your um, Zoom, uh, at the bottom of your screen, you're gonna see a little, little icon like this, breakout rooms at some point. Um, you'll click on that. And if you want to move, you'll be able to move by just selecting a room. There's gonna be all of these rooms that will be available, but we're gonna put you all in uh, one of these rooms. So you'll go into the Union one, the Atom one, or the Mark one, and then later you'll be able to move around depending on what happens in the uh, hyperspace. With that, I am going to hand this over to my lo lovely assistant and colleague, uh, Adam. And Adam, will you introduce the activity for today, please? Sure, if you can keep your screen up. Yep. So basically we want to look at different forms of prototyping today, uh, different ways to approach this in this online context. So each of your co-facilitators, that's myself, Union and Mark, have chosen a method which we think is fun. Uh, and we will be looking at those. The way we're gonna do that is we're taking this very, very sketchy hotel bar journey here. 
So the pictures are just for kind of for inspiration there. Uh, the actual journey is this, uh, these yellow squares. And it's about a person, a guest at a hotel, I'm guessing, um, who plans a trip, books a hotel, travels, arrives at their hotel and finds a coupon in their room whatever that coupon may be, um, they go to the hotel bar and the bar is full and they see at the, ball, at the bar a touch screen on the table. There's a touch screen on the table. Yeah? They order food and drink using that screen. They are facilitated to get into a conversation with someone. Uh, and then later on, after their return journey, they post a review or not. Okay, so that's the kind of the very, very rough journey that we have. What we're going to do is apply different prototyping methods to different parts of this to see what we can understand, learn, ideate, discover new unknowns and so on around this journey. It's really about the methods and not about the journey itself. We're not planning to launch anything like this in the near future. It's just to play around with three different types of prototyping. So let's say what they're going to be. Um, my background is theatre, uh, so my prototyping methods will be based on a little bit of puppet theatre, if you like. It's, if you like, a version of a desktop walkthrough, uh, which is a method where you move chips or Lego figures or far superior German Playmobil figures uh, around the table, um, and you talk through what's happening. You might have some little conversations between them. We've adapted that to the online uh, context. That's what I'm looking at. What about you, Mark? I'm mine's a secret. I'm not telling anybody. Oh, okay. Yun Yen? <laughs> Let's cook up something. Okay. In this very moment, I feel like a rebel. Uh, I love to tear down something. And last night, I looked in this book, Think Wrong, again. So let's say uh, my inspiration comes from think wrong as a rebel. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So well, I will. I will say just a, a, a word. Um, we're going to play with. Um, we're going to play with the experience of somebody interfacing with uh, the tablet. So on the table, that's kind of what we're going to do. But actually, it can be whatever we want to do because this is this is going to be just for everybody to have fun and experiment with prototyping online. And Mimp, are we ready? Do we have the room set up? So you've got everybody going into one of three rooms randomly? So do I have union one, two, three, four? Adam one, two, three, four. Is that right? Yeah. And Mark yeah. one, two, three, four? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> of course. Yes. Okay. Shall I open the rooms? Are we ready? Facilitate. I'm ready. Let's yeah. go. All right. Let's open the See you guys now. on the other side. Open the I like that sound too. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? You're gonna have to tell me. Oh, it's magic. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Come on, off you go, people. Like fairy music. <laughs> So <laughs> at the bottom of your screen is now a new button, Breakout Rooms. Click that button if you're not being tempted automatically and choose your room. Do it. Do it. Choose your room. Okay, everybody's moving to the room that they want to go to. We're not doing it randomly. Is that correct? Looks like that's the way it worked. Okay. Out. All right. So there are some people going to the wrong room. So someone needs to go down and click the people from rooms two and so on into rooms one. Or maybe send out a broadcast message that everyone needs to be in room one. Oh. I don't. I don't see a link for a room. Yeah. Uh, down at down at the bottom of your Zoom screen, there's a little four square icon. Click on that, and there'll be a dialogue that comes up, and you can join one of the rooms that's labeled one. Um, we might have to run. <laughs> Just hoping that we sign everybody to the. I can't see it. Then we'll okay, we can you, we can move you. Um, um, okay, Mim, just make sure that somebody everybody gets put into a room, and it doesn't really matter where people go. I, I see someone else is always also saying there's no button. And you know, I depend on what version of Zoom you have and so on. But we don't worry, we can move you. It's not a problem. Let's yes. just move everybody uh, into a room. Um, I'm going to okay. jump. I'm going to jump into Mark One. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm going to jump and, into Adam I'm, Two fine. and send those guys to Adam One. Then I'm going to uh, Adam One. I just want to. I want just want to take this. Uh, you can see it. The playmobil. Okay, great. 
Okay. Um, Mim, oh, I yes. guess there's not going to be many people here in the YouTube, so you could, I don't know, have a conversation with folks that are hanging out. Um, uh, yeah. Or I can do the YouTube tube from my room. Maybe I should do that. Oh, do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so stop the YouTube and then I'll start it back. What do you mean? Stop the YouTube? So shall I, uh, now I can see some breakout rooms. Shall I choose, just choose one? Choose any breakout room. Okay. Stay here with you and you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you can stay here with us <laughs> if you want. <clears throat> I will move Cornelia as well to um, a room. Cornelia, is there a room you want to go to specifically? There are many in one. Um, I mean, I'm happy to stay with you guys, but I, I haven't had any chance to move. Otherwise, put me in number one. I'll put you. I don't know. Whatever. I'll put you with Yun Yen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, put me with like twenty. Actually, I'll put you with Mark. Yeah, Mark's, Mark, Mark doesn't have as much people, but yeah. <laughs> Bye again. Loved your session from, from last you. week. <laughs> okay. Oh, now is the, oh, oh, that's real. Hello, you two. Hello, you two. Here we are. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just moving everybody into the right <laughs> rooms. <laughs> oh, uh, Martin. Oh, no, Martin's a look. There we go. Let's check. There are like, like Indian in one. Then Adam, there's. All right. They're all in one, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yin Yin room one, Adam room one, Mark room one. Yes. We have Alvina here. Maybe we should move. Albina, and we have another person coming. <laughs> welcome, we'll welcome. welcome. Albina and Tudor. Mark, number one. Would you like to change, would you like to not change, would you like to go Hi. to a room? Hi. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm late. Probably you already started an activity. Yes, we did. We're, we're currently prototyping a jam. Um, so if you'd like to, oh, hello. Yay, nice to see you. Hi. We're also live on YouTube. So say, wave to YouTube. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so so how, how is this going? So we are going to put you in one of the breakout rooms. I'm going to put you with Mark. We're going to be prototyping uh, a jam together. So I'm going to awesome. put you with Mark. Yes, All right. I will. Thank I will you. Move Thank you there. there. Yes, yes, yes. Ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come and see you later. I think I'll move Albina as well. Yeah. I don't know if Albina has problems connecting, but yes. I will move to Mark as well. There we go. Mark will be like, whoa, we got more people. Where are they coming from? Oh I my God. to another 14. <laughs> yeah. There we go, yeah. Yay. Yay. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, yay. For those who, who are watching on YouTube, I'm sorry. You, you can't. Yeah, this is why experience. you have to be here with us instead of YouTube. Exactly. And join us every Wednesday because yeah. that's the magic of Wednesday Web Jam. Like exactly. There are so many secret and, and um, I don't know how to call it, special moments. Magic. Magic going <laughs> behind the scenes. I'm just gonna be a nosy rosy for, for YouTube. And um, <clears throat> this is what, uh, so me and Humana, because we're in the main room, we have no idea what's going on. So let's, let's have a look and see you know, what's going on. <clears throat> this is Yin Yen's room. Ooh, lovely photo of Yin Yen as always. <laughs> <laughs> think wrong yeah um what do we know in this room about they want to plan a trip book a hotel converse with someone order food touch screens coupons bar travel 
me. And Yunyan said, step two, choose one or two new emotions to you and explore today. Babe, would you like to quickly go through it? Yeah. Like, if you were to, like, if you would plan a trip, where would you plan a trip? Where would you consider? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. So mm. what, what do we know in this room about, I'll say we plan a trip. And then one or new, two, two, no, sorry, one or two new emotions from me. My new emotion, let's say my current one is uh admiration yeah why would be a new one ayana's here by the way ayana's here yay yeah mine's a joy and admiration and amazement well only two right so i'll just do amazement and admiration and joy yeah ayana welcome welcome i'm gonna i'm gonna put you in a breakout room with uh with i guess should we do Mark? Mark. Or should we do? Yeah, Mark. I think Mark. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, breakout rooms. And the reason why, because people are watching YouTube, why we're sending them to Mark is because <laughs> trying to make the rooms even somehow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mm-hmm. put you to Mark. Yeah, Ayana. And also, because like, we just want Mark to have. On the... <laughs> yeah, I want Mark to ha- just handle all the people from yeah, the exactly. Magic. Yeah, the hyperspace. <laughs> yeah okay okay so you mentioned joy and admiration right yes oh i see a lot of people uh mouses are moving oh my gosh okay it means it's starting yeah (laughs) i also wanna yeah okay i'll i'll choose like i'll choose joy and admiration and no actually i'll I'll choose admiration and surprise yeah what about you humina um which emotions would i choose Mm, two new emotions Two new emotions. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if they are new. <laughs> <laughs> what about right now? What do you feel right now? What do I feel right now? Mm. Hmm. A little bit of, I would say, between, I don't know, I cannot see worried, but. Worried yeah. could be. Um... Not, but it's not fear. Mm. maybe just just maybe I could label it right now as fear yeah maybe uh, fear and um distraction because you know or fear and can... acceptance I'm between like fear and acceptance somehow. okay we go we go fear and acceptance mm-hmm. cool, cool, cool. okay yeah um do we have more people oh we got iris with us hi iris Hello. Hello. Did you just Hello. join us? Yes. Breakout rooms. Yes. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I'm late today. That's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put you into a breakout room straight in. Oh, great. Yes. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to I'm going to put you with Adam Lawrence actually. Just going to balance the room. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Hola. It's also here. She's joining us. Yes. Hola all. Hi, Hi. Hola. Hi. Oh, oh. she's still connecting. Hi, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna whilst whilst you do that, I'm just gonna peek. Um oh my gosh, this is what this is Mark's board. Hi Hola. Yeah. So we are in some record rooms working together. So we'll move you to a session, okay? Okay, thank you. You're Perfect. Very welcome. I can do that here. Good. I'll move you to Mark. Here we go. It looks like Mark's room is getting cozy. Look, look <laughs> at how many mouths you got. <laughs> Can you zoom in a little bit? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Through it, what people have. How might the user feel? There's feel. What be might anxious. they want to Or not sure what to do next. So hmm. Oh, they're going to do an app. What questions might the app ask? App should display her name, welcome her. What did they do? So they're be designing an app. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. The app. Oh, Welcoming introduction. Products. She needs social example how to use tablet. What? I wanna how hungry are you? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good question, of course. That is true. That can always <laughs> be the first thing to once you have that covered, then you can <laughs> 
you know other things <laughs> yes definitely i think i think that would be my kind of app well, how hungry <laughs> first oh, oh. question <laughs> look look hi steve jobs is this the state of tech you had envisioned yeah <laughs> uh if you if you have missed uh i think it was two weeks ago to the people who are watching on YouTube, Yash has kindly written a poem slash a letter, I think to UX design, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think I haven't seen, I haven't read it. It wasn't like those weeks, <laughs> but I saw quickly the post, but I need to catch up on those. Definitely. And what, what, what did they write? I don't remember. I do remember I wrote for Gadva and, and Dana wrote for Zoom. You wrote for she, whom? Dana Dana wrote for Zoom and said like Zoom I believed in you and nobody else did <laughs> <laughs> like Haraya I was also... there for you oh Horaya yeah yeah I'm gonna send Horaya to a breakout room too. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna send him with Mark as well yeah yes. it looks like it's you know I'm gonna we... yeah and also oh my god look at Adams oh, okay uh, Horaya we're sending you to hi Horaya uh, yes, I'm going to send you to Mark. Send you to Mark, yes. Mark's crowd, like, Mark's board is really crowded, by the way. <laughs> this is, I, I, this is like Sims. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Adam, and we got a few visiting sculptors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, prototyping at the bar. Oh, this looks fun. Yeah. Let me just... Do, 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 do. Prototyping people, prototyping additional people, rooms, elements. Ooh, this looks exciting. Oh my gosh, exciting. Okay. Are they building now my... Hmm? Sorry? Are they building now a room? I think so. I think it's a bar at the bar. Yeah. It looks like a bar. A bar that has a computer. <laughs> Two computers, three computers. Oh, because he mentioned about the touch screen, because oh, there were yeah. these elements, right? That you would see a coupon, and yeah. then the bar was full, and then you have a touch screen. Uh, well, Kirk is moving around. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk is like, I don't like being here anymore. <laughs> I gotta go here. <laughs> no, oh, I just, I I just, there's a dog as well. You may know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dog as well <laughs> with the fireman. <laughs> is, it, is it pet friendly? Is the hotel pet pet friendly? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I think it is. Oh, yeah, it is. And children, is. of course. Yes. I've, oh, I am assuming those are children. Yeah. Oh my I god! So, right. Yeah. They yeah. got ten minutes left. I'm just gonna slide to how Mark is doing. Let's He's go. Got, back. They got ten minutes to to fill out this these iPads. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah. With, <laughs> so there are like twenty people per breakout room, hmm. uh, working out, working together, prototyping together, right? In yes. these three different breakout rooms. Definitely. And I. I'm not sure how it's going inside, but I think that sometimes we're used to be working not that many, right? We do like small groups usually. Mm. So I'm curious on knowing um, how they are organizing like themselves, right? When and, and collaborating online to come mm. up together with a solution. Definitely, because uh, usually we do like three, four, five people, and today we have 20 people in a room, so that's definitely... Yeah, yeah. well, like yeah. total, in not total. 20. So, Afrin, welcome. We're, there are people working together in breakout rooms. We'll send you to one of these. I think I'm going to send you to uh, Adam's room. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's all right, yeah. To Adam's room. Yin's room is really full. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And maybe I'll be in a back to I'm sure to to Mark. Oh, Albina's been there for a while. I think. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's maybe the flows. connection, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go back to what. Yeah, let's, let's, go back to, let's see how it's going. 
Yeah. Then choose an object in your house room that you have not seen touched for a long time. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna see around. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm seeing my plants. Let me go quickly. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. High heel shoes. Granny blanket. Pencil sharpener, noodle machine, <laughs> garden seats, bread in my fridge. It shows that I haven't seen nor touched my plant. <laughs> Your plant? Oh my god! <laughs> it's partly alive, partly dead. Well, I haven't been here in a while, so that's why. Oh no! <laughs> oh, they're moving to. They're moving. Oh, Himena, do you see? Yun Yen from room one is now slowly moving to room two. <gasps> and some ah. have moved to room three. Oh my god, I wonder why. I wonder what's the reason. Will they continue with each other's project? Oh, possibly, yeah. Yun, so Yun Yen oh, two now has. Who is it? Hi, Dana! Hi! You, you I, back? Are you... I, I'm supposed to go to a different room, so I. I figured I'd come back here and then go in because I couldn't figure out how to go in directly. So Which I'm, taking, off. I'm taking the next flight. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. This is just your connection. I know. I know. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Good. Happy Good. to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. In your trip. Hi, David. It's been a while since I've seen you. <laughs> Are you also uh, no. uh, also here My for a transit? <laughs> just, <laughs> just checking out options. Yeah, options. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Will we ask for their passport and visa? <laughs> Corporate test? No, we won't because we are worldwide citizens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you two. This is what we're <laughs> This is what happens when you leave Mimp and Himena with YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> David, it could don't be mind worse. Us. Yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. David, which uh, room were you in? I was in one. Ah, uh, okay, yes. Yeah. Uh, is it is it with uh, people doing. Is Mark. it with uh Mark? Yes, of course. Yeah. Do you want me to I, transport I think I was also you? with Mark. No, that's okay. Let me just watch and look and read. Go ahead, go ahead. Think yeah. Sorry, my right. internet connection was gone, Mim. Can you put me back into um, room one? Yes. Sorry. Of Thank course, you. of course. Yes, I will do that now. Assign. Very cool boarding, so. I know, right? <laughs> you guys are very productive. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take the credit. <laughs> this is all Here on Mark <laughs> and Yun Yun and, and, and Adam Lawrence. <laughs> Okay, off you go, Colinia. Hey. So step four was choose a fellow colleague to work together. Choose another breakout room. Think of a storyline that you travel, arrive in the hotel room, finding the voucher, co-create. Use a new emotion mood. Use the object, its image, aspect, characteristics to associate with the voucher. Six, while collaborating, use yes and out loud to connect sentences. And the story by going to the bar. Number eight, make at any twist or trick that suits you. Uh, and step five, come back to Yin Yen. Let's share and decide who and how to present. So Jennifer is currently mm -hmm. doing something with her post-it notes. And I believe Patrick posted a lucky cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see Yun Yen has hopped to room four. Yeah. I wish I can show this to you too. I wish I can show how like crazy it is going in the breakout rooms. <laughs> right, David, you understand. Yes. <laughs> and remember, this is David, this is why people should come to every Wednesday, isn't it? Because yes. it, <laughs> this is why this is where the fun is when the fun happens. And I mean, there's no other place. <clears throat> There's no place to be but Wednesday Web Jam on Wednesdays. Exactly. At what time, <laughs> At, depending on your time zone. 
5 p.m. Yeah. Central Europe time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. time. Yay. Where can they find more about Wednesday Web Jam? WednesdayWebJam.com! <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> on which socials are we? Wednesday Web Jam on everything LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna how hope. can they reach you? How can they reach us? <laughs> there, there, <That's> there. Parks. <laughs> I'm, I love that you're here with us, David. Still like <laughs> deciding where to go. Mm. What to do. Are you on a break? Li live and learn. Live and learn, Good. yes. Failing forward, there's no other way. Our motto. <laughs> yeah. <Good point. laughs> And learning together, of course. Yes. Let's check then. How, yeah. So, how's it going with Mark? Right? There. Are, this mm. is their apps. So you can you zoom in a little bit? Oh, oh, they, they. Hi, made... Sally. Hey, Sally, Let's welcome. welcome. What's your room number? Don't take uh, me to the reception. <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> Here. Don't take me to the reception. <laughs> uh, could. Be check below to confirm that you got the jab jab yes <laughs> ab could solve awkwardness give you something to do uh oh where's your coupon code type it in here <laughs> oh. uh, but I'm, I'm gonna have a look at this as well what's the third, third group look like third group as in mark's uh group? no the other guy uh, Adam, Adam, yeah. yeah. Adam. Oh, I can, I can, I can go there too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're the all-powerful person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the god. So, Marty Mikaela, yeah. uh, Mikaela, oh, would them, you like yeah. us to go? Would you like to? Your? Can you? Uh, I'm sorry. I was looking for you to let him know the time is out, <laughs> but I can't find her. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for for it's crashing. Okay. We, we have one minute left. Do you want to stay here or do you want to go back? Uh, I, I would love to. Great to see you again, David. Sorry for <laughs> crashing. Yes, this is where and Adam Mar is. Yeah, and I think Martin oh. the same. Maybe he clicked on being back in the room. Yeah. Mm. Here we have there 50 seconds. So people on YouTube, in 40 seconds, everybody's going to be here. I, I, I think I found her. Yeah. I will speak. see you later. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't go, Michaela. <laughs> go and come. Yeah, Michaela will be back with us in like a, a minute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're closing the breakout room in 28 seconds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Pay my bill. How would you like to pay? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I will go here first. Payment Meeting options. functional needs. Yeah. Meeting someone? Let us know and we'll connect you in the bar. Hi, Steve. Or Sally, do you a preferred drink you would like, or do you want us to help you choose your drink? Ah. Mm -hmm. You can also choose a personality for your tablet. Mm. I'm going to close the rooms now. Time is up. <laughs> it's she <welcoming>. rules. <laughs> she rules. Coming now. Thank you, David. You're very kind. <laughs> Well, I felt like somebody was in charge of the world besides me because I kept being moved around. And I was like, okay, I'm in the hands of somebody. It's okay. <laughs> You're in cool. safe hands. It's okay. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the main room. Hello again. Hello again. We're just so, sharing... Uh, with YouTube a little bit with yeah. the boards because they don't know more. Yes, they don't know what's going on in the in the breakout room. So I thought, why not just show a bunch of ideas being thrown into Myro? Okay. Mark, Adam, Yen Yen. Would oh, one of you tell us how it went? Yeah. Uh, wow, that was fast. And <laughs> <laughs> we were just getting started. <laughs> right. Yeah. Away. yeah. <laughs> It's great to be it's great to be on the other side, like where you're you're part of a team and, and you've got this time block and it's like, I need more time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Yes. Wow. Cool. Um, checking in with uh, Union and Adam. How 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 are you guys doing? It is how a very sh it is a very short time, especially when you're trying to explain a new uh, method and then get to grips with technology and stuff like that as For well. For sure. Yeah. But we did generate a whole bunch of ideas and insights and new questions uh, in yeah. about the ten or twelve minutes that we played. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe somebody from my group would like to explain what actually happened. Shall I go first, Adam? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. She's laying and down the law. Yeah, she well, is. Yeah. <laughs> well, you also asked me, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Um, we did uh, the instructions quite quickly. I was glad that the instructions were clear. And to what did that result? I don't know yet. Adam, back to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, let's look at let's have a quick look at what we did. So I'm going to share my screen um, with the entire group, and I'm going to ask if anybody from my team would like to just talk about what they noticed that happened. So this is the area we were playing on, and we were moving these people around, mostly this guy uh, who was played by Kirk. And you'll notice on some of these tables are little screens and things. Uh, and as we had com. What happened here? That's really interesting. Uh, as, we had <laughs> as we had little conversations between, for example, uh, Kirk and uh, other people, or Kirk having a conversation with this device, just human to human conversation there, we were jotting down a whole bunch of stuff that we noticed. Observations coming in, new ideas coming in, mm. and also a few new unknowns coming in. Like, is it legal to order alcohol from a screen? I'd not thought about before. In my country, it certainly <laughs> is. In other countries, it might not be. But does anybody from the group want to say what they noticed? I would like to, to share. Please. Uh, the, the method was extremely intuitive. I think, I don't know if I speak on behalf of everybody else, it was immediately uh, obvious how to, to get into the play and, and, and to, to play, basically. So that, that I really like very much. It doesn't require a lot of explanation. You could get in very, very quickly. Um, and it's very rich to see that so many perspectives in the observation. We started with an empty room and then trying to make it real, we populated with people, dogs, kids and stuff. And, and it changed our perspective immediately. And, and um, a hobbit, I think. <laughs> no, <laughs> on the table, right. Lots of dogs. Um, also, it was very, very easy to jump into um, simulating conversation between a machine and a human and natural and, and so revealing you know i mean i know it was short time and we didn't go further but in less than 20 minutes to get that far in in the learning and understanding about the potential solution for me it was very impressive mm. cool the technique is called concierge prototyping or genie in a bottle prototyping or even conversational prototyping it is my favorite way of prototyping digital interfaces until you need to switch to wireframes because they are so much slower and I think we've used our time, so I'll hand back to you and you in. Well, maybe I can follow on uh, the wireframe because that's what we did, um, oh. if I can, because that, that I think is a great segue into, into what our team did. Um, so thank you, Adam. I'll just tee this up and I'll also ask uh, uh, some, of the, some of our team to, to, um, to share their thoughts. Um, yeah, so we... We had, I think, what I thought was going to be super boring, um, which, you know, wireframing, it's kind of a, a classic um, uh, prototyping for digital uh, applications, of course. But we started by walking through the journey and kind of familiarizing ourselves. That takes a minute anyway. Uh, and then we looked at like two key questions. Um, how might the user feel and what might the user want or need? And then um, what is that conversation going to be like between uh, the app and oh, it's all somebody gone. You don't need undo? it. It's not important. Somebody, <laughs> just somebody hit undo. undo. Oh, <laughs> failing for control Z. Happen. Oh, 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 boy. Is it back? Back? Who, that was a great move. Who did that on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the drama. So, um, what we all noticed, I think, was uh, that you know, people are going to be self-conscious when they arrive at a bar and stuff like that. And then we got into kind of what does that conversation look like as a lead into um, doing the wireframe activity itself, which, by the way, 
is not possible to do in like 10 or 12 minutes, but we tried um, and we had some really interesting conversations. So I'm going to invite um, the team to, uh, to make some comments about what that conversation was like for you guys. Somebody jump in. What's really, for me, it's really difficult. So if I start drawing stuff or putting things together, I find it really hard to speak as well. So I, it's, it's, it's so my, so my, my yeah. brain is limited to either, you know, making something or talking. I cannot right. do both. So yep. probably that's a problem. Um, I think a prototype is really going into detail. Uh, for iframe um, pushes you into, into going into the details. Um, so I see the value of starting with um, a conversational um, prototyping and starting with the high level story and then going into a, um, a wireframe that really pushes you to it, asking what is the functional, you know, what is the first uh, frame tell you and what is the second one and how do you order food and um, go into the specification. So I really see how that builds on one another. Yeah. So starting with Adam's um a method and then continuing uh, once you have the big storyline clear. And I think we were still throwing ideas around like, okay, do, does the, um, the app know you? Okay, it will, you know, it, it will have a code knowing your room name and knowing uh, your mood. And mm -hmm. uh, so we were still uh, very playful in a way. Um, and maybe for wireframe, you need to be more focused. Um, well, you can, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it can work. 10 minutes. Sorry, it can. I think it can work. Just you know, to play around with some ideas, but it's just not in you know really making a flow of you know what happens. Then that wouldn't work, I think. But but mm. I think you can just try out things. But it's but it's a bit early if you don't have a, a clear. So it's not really Sorry. collaborative because mm -hmm. you, you we don't have a we didn't have a clear idea of what are we trying to do mm -hmm. just yet. Okay, cool, great. Thanks. Any other thoughts from the from that team? And going once, twice. Matthew? Well, just to, yeah, to jump in there as well. I think we didn't have the time to be collaborative and, and really, no. I mean, it was, it was really the, the micro journey of, of the macro journey above. And right. it's just this spot once in the bar and then right. the different wireframes. But I think if we'd had more time, we would have had more discussion and really looked at each stage. Um, it was really interesting, the conversations, and it really gives a focal point. So that was great. So about the time, how much more time do you think we would have needed to get to something that we could present to somebody outside? I mean, how close were we? I'd say 72 hours. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> 72 hours. I was going to say one hour and thought it's too long, but 72 hours is more accurate for sure. <laughs> this is That's a because I like to do my sketches first. And yeah. verbalization before I go into wireframing, but that's yeah. a right. three days for me. <laughs> this is a big, a big cultural thing. I mean, I've, I've worked with clients where if you spend 72 hours on a presentation, they will rip you a new one. Right. They will say, why did you waste 72 ideas on this, in, on this initial idea? Yeah. Just bring us the freaking sketch. Yeah. yeah? And, other, and yeah. other organizations, it's like, do, do you insult us with your sketching? <laughs> yeah? where, where is yeah. the beautiful the beautiful um, InDesign version of it? Well, I wasn't saying present it to them with the sketches. I would okay. just say the sketches lead me to the wireframing. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's it. Misunderstood you. My apologies, Ian. Over, over to you, Yun Yen. Your, your yeah. uh, last but yeah. not least. Um, what I have laid out for the people to work on uh, was perhaps a bit traditional, uh, going to a storyline and storytelling format. Uh, what was a bit wrong about it, thinking wrong about it, was you know diving into emotions that we have not explored yet, and then getting that voucher and see how that would work. So I don't know exactly how that worked in the three breakout rooms. But I just go to uh, somebody from the breakout room number one. I think it is Bruno. Could you uh, share with us a little bit what happened in the room? Hi, sure, you, you and Yen. Um, we were talking about how we felt about getting to a new hotel and a new trip. 
uh, that we might be excited, uh, a little tired from the trip before that. And then we just go to the room and we find a, a voucher. The common feeling in the room was the voucher was a little confusing. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Uh, do I have to do something to use it? Or is it attached to anything? And what, what that might be even like before that, if it was like something telling you that you had a problem before you even saw it. So mixed feelings. And yeah. we were creating this journey with the feelings we 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 felt on the, the moment. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And uh, could I go on to the next room? And I, I would like to ask Martina to, to, to tell us a little bit what happened in your room. If Martina is with us. Is it possible to share the screen so we can see the room or the board? Um, now I need Jeroen to I, help I me. I can do that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because so tell, there was tell me a, left and right. A, yeah, there was, I think, a lot of uh, okay. word sharing, thoughts sharing, uh, perhaps not immediately working as, uh, on the board itself. So they do, this was for capturing thoughts and ideas. Uh, I do see Claudia. Perhaps you want to share with us a little bit. Uh, I I didn't get that much um, because I uh, have kind of hearing disabilities and I'm more into listening. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you, Claudia. No problem. No problem at all. Uh, perhaps your room. Yes, of course. And, and, and uh, looking at the team in, in room number two, I think we stuck to think wrong mainly because <laughs> what we did is we used all your cues about that emotions, about the moment, uh, what kind of hotel, what kind of visitor are we? So we, st we stuck into a, an ideation session mainly instead of making a tangible Yes, we can talk about a, a story we created or we try to create, but that's it. That's not really the most important thing for us to share, I think, uh, because the story isn't yet finished in that way. It felt to us as a real uh, uh, quick mm. brainstorm going from nowhere to somewhere and backwards. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think you experienced in only 50 minutes what I have been in, uh, experienced for 24 hours. <laughs> so I'm a little bit ahead of you, but this is this is fine. This is good uh, that we feel while the question perhaps is prototyping. We feel like going, is it back or in ideation again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me check. Anybody else from uh, my group who wants to share something? Last chance. Just want to say that uh, what the journey that Jeroen uh, talked about was from Venus to Amsterdam and had some weed, which cleared up with the use of hair gel, and then we went to the bar. So <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> the story that we came up with. Good thinking wrong. <laughs> so right. <laughs> Thank you. Back to you, Mark. <laughs> In the music, Johnny. <laughs> um, so we got We have about five more minutes to just discuss um, prototyping, and and uh, you know, uh, uh, many of you are familiar with this idea of, of creating a prototype. And as we, Adam and and uh, Yun Yen and I were preparing this session, um, of course, it was like, hey, let's just dive into it and see see what we learn. And and one of the things that um, that we were discussing is how. You know, are we are we doing ideation or are we doing prototyping? And we don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing ideation, but prototyping. And Adam, prototyping is ideation, um, which is true for sure because you're using it as a way to work things out. So, a few minutes uh, before we go to backstage, and backstage we can talk about this uh, in more detail. But thoughts from you guys about what the experience was like? Questions, if you have them, about what what prototyping is and why we even are are playing with this today. I just qualify that, that the saying that I have is that all prototyping is ideation, but not all ideation is prototyping. I, I think it speaks to the iterative process 
of prototyping because while you're going back and forth with the prototype testing, that that is ideation too, because you're, you're changing things as you go. So it's all merged together. And that's why we say with design thinking, it's not a linear process. Mm -hmm. You know, you just kind of weave in and out. Um, right. So I would kind of put a circle around that ideate prototype uh, test and, and especially that prototype testing is that iterative process. Yeah, but I think you can make a difference between an idea, uh, levels of ideas. So an idea on a sticky note is a different level than an idea that is actually, you know, made tangible or visible. So Right. So you've got to go stage. back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. That's why I say it's non-linear. We already know that. So that's where you cover yourself <laughs> if you're explaining it to a newbie. Jeroen, go ahead. Now, although we, we, we frame it today as prototyping and we don't ignore it, but we, we don't accept it fully as well. We, every breakout room needs time to meet each other before we can perform. We know about it, but in some way it, it, it isn't in our schedules um, in such a way that it really benefits what we want to do before we are able to really meet each other, either in ideation, product, whatever. It's the time is, all, is, is gone already a bit. And that's also something to, to, to keep in mind. Although we feel we are working on a prototype, make it tangible, either in sketching or in wireframe whatsoever, it's still that, that, that puzzling part of meeting each other before performing. Sure. Yeah. Mm. I like it so much that you explained that, Jeroen. It, 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 to me, the image of a magnet and two magnets show up. So the magnet has to be put together first, we click, and then suddenly we can jump and explode from that moment. But as two magnets don't touch each other, it's like, okay, two magnets without, without magic. <laughs> um, I wonder, because we were doing, the, we're doing this online, um, I found, and come back to what Martin said before, I find it very difficult on the, in, the digital, in the digital environment to, uh, separate my thinking and talking from my doing. I, I find it much easier in a physical environment to pick up the Playmobil figures and have them talk. But I, unfortunately, I, I'm going to try this one out that um, I've already forgotten what Adam called it with the um, hobbits and the room. Um, <laughs> because I think that might be getting closer to that kind of feeling. Yeah. I don't know, for the people yeah. that did it, did it feel more, more, more like analog, more like, less like digital doing that? Good question. Um, so the, the point is, I think it's, it's about the, uh, so the difference between having a pencil in your hand or having you know, pieces of paper or puzzles or Playmobil or Lego, and you have something in your hands. And, you know, we don't have to think when we use our hands to put something together. We don't have to think about that. But when we use a mouse or we use a pen and digitally, and we have to put things together and buttons and stuff like that, maybe... I'm not sure, but maybe that has an impact on, you know, being able to tra transfer ideas and to talk and to collaborate. I'm not sure if that's mm. so. But. Yeah, it's about cognition, right? Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> you, yeah. you connect with the object while you, you are doing it. You don't, as, as Adam say, you do the stuff and without uh, talking about it. So you exactly. do, you think with your hands. Yes, exactly. Probably it's is better. Yeah, so, but if, sure. I'm, if I'm in a if I'm in a role play yeah. then in a Zoom room, it must be easier to prototype in a theatrical way, like exactly. and trying to recreate, I don't know, like trying to do Lego uh, in some on some kind of three dimensional software. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It's, it's the eternal thing with prototypes where. The more fidelity you have, so the more realism you have, the more uh, understanding you have of look and feel and of maybe the emotional side of it and so on, and the easier it is for people to understand it. Some people can't read rough prototypes, mm -hmm. but it slows you down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I showed you a 3D version of this here. Actually, a 2D version, just from above, just post it's moving around, is sometimes easier, but some people find it very, very hard to get into that. So it's always this trade-off. Do I make it super easy? Do I make it realistic? Or where's my sweet spot in between? I think it'd be really cool to use VR in that capacity. We've That's what it. I'm really not sure, Dana. That's what I'm kind of trying to feel towards. You know, I'm really not that sure. Would be, I'm just saying with VR, it could be like more of a natural feel. 
Yeah, there is a lot of research on that actually, but uh, people feel that some some people don't adapt very well to the three D environment uh, or the the um, uh, augmented reality environment. Uh, I, I think that with the progress of the technology, maybe we will have like good good uh, <laughs> prototype tools. That's Mark's we're going magic to have noise. To He's wrap, interrupting us. We're going to have to wrap <laughs> this up, ladies and gentlemen, until. Oh. Let's two or let's... three minutes until we get into the backstage. But for yes. right now, we'd like to move to a little bit of gentle closing, previewing our next session. Who on the crew has a word to say about number me. 92? Me, me, me. Yes, okay. And also, also FYI, you can stay and continue the conversation, please, in the backstage if you can. We'd love to hear more from you. Okay, so... Um, Next session, next Wednesday, I am joined by Lee Kim, Colin, Sarah, Caitlin, Andrew, Dina, Micah, Misha, sorry, um, for a memory kaleidoscope game. So I'm just going to read the description. Uh, Lee Kim with friends all over the world will lead the game Memory Kaleidoscope, an online experience highlighting the big and small moments that shape us. Bring an open heart, a curious mind, and let's discover the game together. So we'll see you next Wednesday. And I'm going to put the link in the chat. Awesome. A um, couple of more notes. Um, on the 20, or sorry, the 16th of March, we're going to do a Wednesday Web Jam book club. Um, and the book we're going to be reviewing is The Wizard and the Prophet. I've read this book. I you know, just finished it this week. Amazing. Um, unexpected and very much about the future of humanity on the planet. So it's not all that important, but you may be interested. Um, uh, great author, the reading is, is, is just um, super engaging. So if you wanna be a part of that review, um, it's, an, it's a book club like no other. We will be doing interactive activities to kind of decompose it. And I have reached out to the author and unfortunately he won't be able to meet us, but who knows, maybe he'll show up. Mm -hmm. um, if you have an idea for a future session, we invite you to go to this link. It's a bit.ly link, WWJ ideas. So bit.ly slash WWJ ideas, submit a link there. It's a Google form and our curation team or curators team will consider your idea. And hopefully you'll be on the screen with us. Awesome sauce. And here's all our socials and here's all our people. And here's our Kofi thing. So if you want to take a picture of that and give us some money to help us pay for all the back end stuff, we only need a few dollars here and there, euros, yen, whatever you got in your pocket, we'd love to have a donation. And I think we'll have a little link to that in the uh, chat. And with that, folks, we are going to move to backstage. Mip, could you cut off the big YouTube thingy thingy wingy ding? Yeah, yes, the wingy thingy ding. <laughs> I'm just going to ask everybody to wave goodbye to YouTube, please. Bye, YouTube. Woo! <laughs>